Welcome everyone, uh, my name is Araceli Coyer and I'm a field application scientist with Kyogen Digital Insights and today we're going to go into an overview of the Kyogen CLC Genomic Workbench and then talk about some of um, the options when it comes to um, using it as an education uh, package. And so today we're going to go through a high level overview of the Kyogen CLC Genomic Workbench, giving you an introduction to a CLC, the Microbial uh, Genomics Module, and the Genomic Server which is our enterprise solution. So here we're going to go over the graphical interface of the software so that you can get a feel for how easy it is to use and walk through some of our um, pre-established ready to use uh, workflows that help simplify and automate your data analysis. So I'm also gonna cover some additional solutions that Kyogen has to offer and provide you with insights into how we support our researchers. So you might be wondering who uses CLC, who our researchers are. And so these are various people within the research community in academics, government, commercial companies, and nonprofits. And then lastly, I'll go over the CLC uh, license options and our academic teaching package. Now, if you like uh, what you see and you want to learn more uh, information about it, please reach out to us and we'd be happy to set up a one-on-one -on -one session with one of our scientists to go uh, into further depth into the software and its functionalities. The Kyogen CLC Genomic Workbench is a graphical um, user interface able to process and analyze uh, NGS data from most platforms uh, for, a, for various applications that you see here. So this image sort of highlights some of the applications that the Workbench is able to do, uh, but it does, um, it's able to do a lot more than what we just see here. So it is designed for the non-experts in bioinformatics with uh, interactive visualizations to facilitate analysis, and it's widely used by academia, governments, and industry leaders. So the Genomic Workbench has several different tools for various types of analyses. So these tools are organized under um, the toolbox in uh, different folders, as you see here. So within these folders, uh, you will also find subfolders, making it easy to find the tools needed for a specific step in the analysis pipeline. Um, so when you open up the workbench, uh, you are going to be able to see an organization of folders like this, which makes finding tools for specific applications easy to do. You can also utilize uh, the search bar located on the top to search for specific uh, tools of interest that uh, you may not know where exactly in which of the tools it's found. Now, for example, we have um, various tools for um, applications regarding next generation sequencing. And we also have tools for uh, non-NGS data as well. Now, once you get familiar with using the workbench um, and its tools, you can customize some of the um, features and tools and make them into your own workflows and install them in your toolbox, uh, utilizing the installed workflows folder. So you can uh, easily access them and use them um, in the future, which is a clickable button. Uh, here you will also see that we have a utility folder that has tools that are aimed for renaming, sampling, and extraction. And in the bottom, you will also see that we have a legacy folder in which you will find a wide variety of tools um, that are flagged to be retired for our next uh, version. So again, uh, the workbench is really, you know, designed for those uh, with non um bioinformatics background and makes finding um, tools for specific applications really easy to do. So the various tools in the toolbox generate a wide variety of interactive visual outputs like heat maps, uh, bar charts, phylogenetic trees, uh, variant tracks, uh, Venn diagrams, and PCA plots. So these interactive visuals can be customized and enhanced with the addition of metadata. So in addition to generating these outputs, one of the things that makes CLC special is that it will do additional things that are very beneficial to users like you, such as generating QC reports. So if you map reads to a reference, for example, CLC will generate a QC report that will show you things like the GC content within your reads, and then um, how many reads were mapped versus those that were not mapped. So as we can see here, um, approximately 
12% of your reads were mapped. And then 75% uh, of those were not mapped, which CLC is going to flag to let you know that there may be something wrong um, with your reads. So taking this information into account, um, it can give you an idea of how the quality is within your reads and whether they could be used or not for further processing. So in this case, you may consider not to use these reads since most of them don't map to your reference of interest. Now, in addition to generating QC reports, it's also going to generate a log that saves all the steps and settings you define when running the analysis, as well as what files that were used. So it records the history of the analysis so you don't have to remember all the, thing, all the things, um, all the settings that uh, were used. So here you can easily um, just refer to this log to see what parameters um, were used when you ran this analysis, what files um, were included, when this analysis was done, and then what version of the workbench uh, was used. You can also um, add additional comments to the log um, to give you reminders of what exactly was done or why you did this uh, analysis in the first place. So this log um, is saved with every process. So if you happen to transfer uh, your files to someone else, they can see this log and look at what was done as well. Now, one of the powerful features of the Workbench is that it offers workflows that you can use, customize, and create. Now, these are pipelines consisting of interconnected tools uh, within the Workbench, which are extremely useful to simplify and automate your data analysis. So instead of doing things one by one, you can simply set up a workflow and run multiple samples through a series of multiple tools using the same parameters with just the click of one or a couple of buttons. Now, this workflow may look a little bit complicated for those of you that may not be familiar with a CLC, but it's pretty um, easy uh, forward. So here, we're just mapping our reads to reference, detecting some structural variants, aligning our um, reads, and then detecting some additional variants, and then looking at the uh, functional consequences of those variants. Now, in addition to creating your own workflows, uh, CLC has an extensive collection of pre-established ready-to-use workflows for various applications. So if you are a new user, you have a template that you can use to do different things. If you are an experienced user, you can easily modify this workflow uh, to fit your research needs. So for example, let's say that you want to do a um, different type of variant detection. You can simply go into uh, the toolbox, and let's say that you're interested in doing um, low frequency detection, drag the tool into the workflow and then connect it um, to the corresponding uh, tools to complete uh, the workflow path. And so once you make these changes, you can easily save them um, and use the workflow for uh, future uh, analysis. Now these workflows can be shared with various members of your research team or collaborators when they want to use the same workflow and parameters um, for your analysis or for their analysis. Okay. Now, when it comes to references, CLC offers an easy management of reference data within the workbench. Uh, the reference data manager which is located on the um, upper right-hand side of the uh, workbench, provides uh, tools for downloading and managing reference data for use with analysis and workflows. The reference manager provides um, a list of references that you can choose from. Um, so here we have references for a variety of species plants and other organisms like E. coli. So you can see that we have uh, references for our most commonly used species. So we have some human references, uh, some mouse, some rat, uh, some bovine, um, just to give you an example. Chiogen. Sample to insight.